everyone long time no see so i have not posted on youtube well a video for over a month now and yeah it's been good for me having a bit of a break but i've been meaning to since last week i promised you a video last week and today was a beautiful day i was going to go biking to another park which is a nice change of scenery i didn't and now it is like 5 30 pm and it is almost dark as you can see by the beautiful glowing sun which is almost not here anymore so um yeah i just thought look i just want to get something done today because all day i've just been dreaming away again so yeah that's one thing <laughs> i still don't have good time management so as you guys know i've been busy with my theatrical musical production that is literally my energetic lifeline at the moment because during the days i still feel very lethargic unmotivated and unfortunately my, my house is a pigsty and i do want to really just get onto it and start cleaning because as they say tidy house tidy mind but yeah that and i also have been fighting a bit of a cold last week so i'll just use that as my excuse <laughs> but yeah this drama thing that i'm doing it's just so good for me like i leave just feeling full of life again yeah that's kind of it i've just been really focusing on the musical and yeah in terms of you know struggles i still have sort of health issues like i said that's largely the just the fatigue and I also still struggle a bit with online addiction. And yeah, Facebook is quite a biggie for me. I only started adding new friends recently. And I can't say I miss Facebook. I stopped using it for years, which was nice. But at the moment, I need to keep it going because we get our like acting alerts on there. And there's also a lot of information about theatrical shows and stuff that I'd like to see. But I think once the show's over, I will just disable it for a while and just have a good break. <sighs> Modern day struggles, yeah. Can't complain, really. Life is pretty good, at, especially at the moment. And I'm just so fortunate to be in this production. I've made some great new friends, hopefully friends for life. It will be really sad when all is said and done saying goodbye to them all but hopefully I'll still see them at social gatherings now and then. I guess that's one good thing about Facebook. I've befriended them, <laughs> befriended them all on there and we can stay in touch that way but I'd much rather have real life connections than visual connections so who knows maybe we'll catch up for the odd drink or social occasion like I said and it's nice just having some theatre buddies who yeah maybe I'll see them at shows and things. Similar interests I just find you meet such wonderful creative people in this industry. It's just really nice meeting people in the creative industry and just finding that inner spark again. It's something I didn't really realize that I still had, didn't realize that I really missed that sense of community. And I realized that we really need each other. Like, obviously you don't want to be so needy. <laughs> not in a healthy way like i just think you know the more the merrier and you learn and grow and it's just nice having that support but it's important to also be able to be alone but i've been alone for so many years i definitely need this change and i think it's just making me more and more confident acting is magical in that way and yeah it helps you find your voice which i kind of already had thanks to youtube but it's definitely different to speak on stage in front of people with a group than it is speaking to a camera by yourself. So yeah, I hope you guys didn't miss me too much. I just figured that, you know, my videos were just getting a little bit blah. And I guess that's like what is to be expected if you vlog so often. And it's not like I'm chasing the YouTube algorithm anymore. Like I tried the whole posting weekly, at least once a week, if not more, and that didn't get me very far. And even though I haven't posted in over a month, it doesn't seem to be changing my stats. Like I still have around 900 or more watch hours, which is what it was a couple of months ago. So that's good. And 
yeah who knows maybe one day I'll still monetize this channel if you'll have me <laughs> if I stick around I would really love to share some video footage of the show but unfortunately there are really strict copyright laws around that and that's something I don't want to muck with especially if I want to continue with acting in the future I don't want anything that could you know give me a bad reputation or a bad name it's just not worth the risk even though I think there's no harm in sharing just a little bit of footage like we'll only probably get snippets of footage from the rehearsals I'm not sure maybe the show but it really is just for personal use only okay well seeing as it's getting dark soon I can't really afford to you know be too picky about this video and keep filming I actually need to be at rehearsals oh sorry I was <laughs> looking at the wrong I, normally my camera's up that area but now it's down there I'm not used to that <sighs> so yeah I am um, do have rehearsal soon and I will not be bringing my script I already know my lines pretty well now well from the first act there are well over 100 pages but yeah I'm in most of the play it's nice when you actually have a little bit of a break there are a couple of pages where Frag my brother sings I won't give the story away but um yeah that will be our little break time and we also will have half time break but honestly like I'll be fine I'll be running on adrenaline and I'll just be having the time of my life and I won't want the shows to end I'm so thankful that it's still relatively light because it is already probably past 5 30 now and normally it would be dark this time in winter but yeah I think it's spring I thought spring was on the 1st of September but then I read an article saying it's not technically until the 23rd so I don't know I'm confused but everyone tends to think that it's the 1st of September yes I had a job interview for a part-time job 20 hours a week would suit me perfectly I felt I failed miserably at the actual interview so I tried to win the manager over with a follow-up email or two and I also gave her some test results just so she can see how fast I can type and yeah did a bit of data entry as well and I just hope they give me a chance but if not it's not the end of the world I'm kind of glad that I'm not working full-time at the moment very glad I know I could not handle it with the show as well some people are very fit and strong but unfortunately I'm not and yeah I actually got a medical certificate a week or two ago and today I received an email saying I don't have to look for a job until March so yeah I'll just relax about it a bit more I do need to find a job but I think I'll really look once the show is nearing its end and hopefully I can transition into work like right after because it would do me good I think it would be a little bit depressing to suddenly finish the show and then be like now what like I do miss that sense of routine and just you know feeling a bit productive during the day making money for a living there are good things to be said about that as well anyway I've been talking for so long I bet most of you have signed out by now <laughs> but thank you if you stuck around and yeah hope you enjoyed this and I hope you liked seeing me again and yeah feel free to comment if you are still around always nice to hear from you and I'd love to hear what you've been up to over the past month or two since we haven't spoken well I've spoken to a few of you via posts but not much okay take care everyone and I'll see you again hopefully real soon I want to aim for at least one vlog a month I think that would do me good and yeah hopefully I'll have more news next time bye for now